The Hawkeyes and Cyclones are looking down the death charts tonight. Both teams may have to replace some athletes. With authorities say bet on games they played in. Good evening, I'm Elias Johnson. I'm Erin Kiernan. Thanks for being with us. Instead of illegal gambling, the players are all charged with tampering with records. They're accused of using another person's identity in order to place bets. They will likely also face consequences from the NCAA. Prosecutors charging four people connected to the University of Iowa today. Jack Johnson is the only current Hawkeye among them. Arlen Bruce and Reggie Bracey already transferred away from the team and Owen O'Brien is a graduate assistant. Meanwhile, four Cyclone players are also charged here. Isaiah Lee, Jarrell Brock, Jacob Remsburg, all current Cyclone players and important ones too. The players are just the latest charge in an investigation we've been talking about lately, but it dates back to May. We're just learning more about it now. It seems like every day as WHO 13's Mark Freund joins us with more on the allegations associated with these charges. Mark. Yeah, that's right, Elias. These charges are coming from Johnson and Story counties respectively. As you said, not with gambling, but with tampering with records and falsifying account registration information so they could place bets illegally while underage. The name that stands out on Iowa's side is former Ankeny star Arlen Bruce. He played a lot at Iowa. Bruce is alleged to have bet on 12 Hawkeye football games, 11 that he played in in 2021 and 22. 19 wagers total on Hawkeye football. Bruce transferred to Oklahoma State after last season. Reggie Bracey, a former defensive back for the Hawkeyes, is alleged to have bet on two Iowa games that he played in. Both Bracey and Bruce used an account registered to Vincent Bruce to place these bets. Bracey transferred to Troy this offseason. Wide receiver Jack Johnson allegedly placed over 480 bets totaling more than $2,500, 380 of those bets while underage using the help of his mother, Jill. Johnson placed four bets on two Iowa football games. He was a member of the team, but did not play. Johnson did play his high school ball at Valley. He is still in Iowa Hawkeye and graduate assistant Owen O'Brien allegedly placed over 350 bets on an account controlled by his mother Audra. He bet three times on Iowa football games last year when he was a student assistant. That brings the total number of Iowa athletes and staffers named in the DCI's probe to seven. Iowa State now has eight athletes named in crit criminal complaints, with four more coming to light today. One of those Cyclones is accused of betting against his own team. Cyclone defensive lineman Isaiah Lee allegedly placed 21 bets on 12 Iowa State games he played in over the last two seasons. According to the complaint, Lee picked Texas to beat Iowa State in 2021, a game the Cyclones won 30 to 7. Lee allegedly created a FanDuel account utilizing his fiance's information. He's still on the team, but has been held out of fall practices. So has Cyclone running back Jirel Brock, and he's also been implicated. Brock is alleged to have bet more than $12,000 total, including on two Iowa State football games he played in last season. Lindsey Payson is alleged to be Brock's proxy. Starting offensive lineman Jake Remsburg used an account registered to his mother to place 273 bets underage. The Story County criminal complaint does not specify any wagers on Iowa State games and only six bets on NCAA events. Some of those were football games. Remsburg has also been held out of fall camp and former tight end Deshaun Hanika allegedly used his mother Kim's name to place bets. 70 of Hanika's 288 wagers were placed on Iowa State basketball games. All four Cyclone players already have court dates set by Story County. They're all required to appear on August 23rd. That's one big drop last week of names that is a second big drop this week. Of course, this is a developing story. We'll keep our eyes on it, but players having uh, alleged to a bet on their own teams and in one case against their own team, a definite no-no by the NCAA. This is not a good situation. All right, Mark Freund on top of this story for us tonight. Thank you, Mark.